Welcome back to my channel. It's Anna. It is Saturday and it's a beautiful, very brisk day outside. And it feels like autumn, which I am loving it. Um, I'm coming here to do an update on my dollhouse and also to share with you my aluminum foil project, which is trees for my dollhouse, spooky trees. And you can make these for your home, for any kind of decor, any kind of season or reason. And you just don't have to do it for dollhouse miniatures. You can do it for anything. And um, this type of project in these type of material lends itself very well to making fairy, fairy homes, hobbit style things. Very cool. Very cool. But first, let me show you here what I have done with my house. And my kids are being very loud right now. And they're upstairs being loud with my daughter. Um, here's the house. As you can tell, if you guys didn't know, this is a 112 scale buttercup. I used the black paint, black washable paint, kids paint on the outside. Then I used the glaze, the slate gray for the trim all the way around. Then in the inside, I went on ahead and painted her black. And then um, on the top, the walls, everywhere, I just painted her black. Then here, that one, I put the wallpaper and it was with the skulls and the red with the gold. Then down here, as you could tell, I have the purple with the gold. Then this paper here, hi guys, um, was the purple and the pink. And then I did the black wash and it did have glitter on it. And then there's the purple there and then the purple there. Um, I did cut out two things for flooring. Uh, I didn't glue it down. I didn't make it permanent. I wasn't too sure if I'm going to do it or not. I'm thinking I might add area rugs versus using these and trying to do a really cool technique here on the floor. So that's where I'm going with that. So it's actually coming along very nicely. And the reason why I wanted to do the aluminum foil project is because I want to start with the outside. So I know exactly how I need to decorate and how much of the tree is going to actually block or intrude the house. This is the first tree that I created with the aluminum foil hot glue. Let me share it with you. And this is what she looks like. And there's her roots. And I made her very twisty and turny. As you can tell, and you still see the hot glue strings and stuff around it. I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't clean it up. But I'm just trying to give you an idea of how it can look. And I wanted the twisty turny look. And I want it to look like an old dried out tree. There you go. So this is my plan to either put it somewhere around here. And of course, we're going to paint it. We're going to paint it some um, color of wood and what have you. And it's going to look really cool. Or over here on the side. And um, she does stand up. And this is the second tree I started to work on. And I said, let me stop and let me show them a little bit more of what I'm doing with this one. Um, this one is going to be a taller tree, as you can tell. And then I even thought about incorporating something up here. And if I decide to do that, I'll do a video on that as well. But right now, I'm just trying to concentrate on trees. Do you see the height of this is going all the way up here to the roof line, all the way up there. And this is what it looks like on the bottom so far. I made it really twisty and turny. And this is such an easy project for anybody to do for their home. Even to do Halloween, autumn, whatever you want. You could do this on your own. Very simple. So I'm going to start adding more to this tree, to this bigger one. And I'm hoping you guys can see okay. I never do DIYs, but you know. Now, if you guys have missed it, I, I just posted a video for a crafty challenge. So if you guys want to be a part of my crafty challenge, please sign up for it. Well, don't sign up for it, but send me in your craftiness, your crafty goodness, and then you will be added in. And then you'll see the prize as well. Now, all I do is I get out a piece. It could be any random piece called the longer piece. It just depends on what you want to do. And I want to do a, a twisty, turny thing because I want it to match that tree and I don't want it to look like a regular tree you can make it look like a regular tree by not making it twisted 
because you see the uh, material lends itself well to looking like bark and it looks amazing with paint on it. You see that? But I'm twisting it because that's the look that I want. So I want another little leg around over here. So what I'm going to do, I think you guys can see me. I'm going to add some down here. And then you just work with it, you know, you just pinch it, work with it. This is going to be, be a bigger one, obviously. And then I'm going to twist it up a little bit more. So then what I'm going to do over here is I want to decide where I want this to, I think I want this to be here, over here on this end. Then maybe twist back around this way here at the bottom, like so. Maybe do it something like that. Okay. Sure that a shorter piece you can always cut these you guys this is aluminum foil it is very very forgiving but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it around here like this and then let it come down over here to add on that additional luggage I want here in the back so now I'm gonna twist this one down like this like that now I have my hot glue gun going, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start hot gluing that look right there. I just added that right there. You see that? This is the one I just added right here. Right there. So I'm going to start hot gluing this in place because I don't want it to move. And remember, you're hot gluing. This is what? Metal. This is going to be hot. So just be careful, you guys, when you're hot gluing this. The hot glue takes to this very, very quickly, very quickly. So I'm just going to hot glue some other random little places and the top over here because I don't want it to move. There we go. Yeah, I don't want this to move, so I'm going to hot glue this over here. And we're just going to build upon this look over here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep on building on this for a little while with you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And you can see how easy it is to do this type of project. And I have been using this same roll. I did that roll with that. And I'm doing this whole thing over here with this. And I haven't gotten into my second roll yet. So, so far, so good. And I think I'm going to try to pump up my tree over here. Pump her up a little bit. And don't be too rough with the paper because, I mean, not with the paper, with the aluminum foil because it will tend to break since it's a little cheaper kind, you know. It will tend to break a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the tree and fill up the parts that I feel need to be filled up. See, this one's hanging on that backside a lot. At least this needs a little bit more stability over here. So let me see if I can create one more leg. See if I can create one more leg here and have it wind up in between that other space there. So how are you guys doing? Has anybody gone out today? I've been home the whole day. I've been doing laundry, cleaning downstairs, and I'm still not done. Um, I posted the Crafty Challenge video. You guys go check it out. It has a very nice prize, and if I get a lot of people to enter, I'm going to add some more prizes for additional winners if I get a lot of people that join in. I'm hoping that a lot of people join in on the fun. And it's going to be running from starting today, obviously, until uh, until the end of uh, November, November 30th. So, I, you know, I wanted to give everybody plenty of time to 
think about what they wanted to make or do or whatever. Okay. Now the young lady that I that I learned this technique from, you guys, uh, I don't know her name, and I have to. I know I, I kept some of her videos. I think on my watch later list, and I'm hoping that I did because I saw only a few of her videos, and then. I don't know if I subbed her or not. I'm pretty sure I did, but you know, uh, I've been having a lot of problems with YouTube of unsubbing me from people. So there's a lot of people I was sub to that I'm no longer sub to. And then I don't get a lot of people's, a lot of folks, um, when they're listing stuff, I don't even know because YouTube has not let me know. This one's moving around too much here. Is not letting me know so it's like my feed is not that good right now it's not I'm not getting everybody's videos when they're making videos and what have you so I'm hoping that yeah, so like the way that looks right there I'm hoping that um, I saved her video underneath my save save for later you know the private one I'm hoping I did that. But do you like the way this one came out? I thought this one came out really cool looking. It's going to look amazing um, once I'm able to paint it. It's going to look so cool. It's going to look so cool. Very, very cool. But you see how simple this process is. It's not, it's not hard at all. And then if you wanted to do like a regular wood look, what you do is you just scrunch it up like this, and then you hot glue it together after you scrunch it up really good like this, and you keep on hot gluing it together like side by side to do like a regular tree without twisties and windies. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it all. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do I hear somebody outside I'm mowing the lawn. And I'm also thinking about what I want to do next with the dollhouse over there. I think I, I think I know what I want to do with the floor. I want to do like a, a thing on the floor and then maybe use some area rugs. And then I gotta figure out which rooms are gonna be what. And then I think I wanted to change up the door that I created. I think I want to change it up and I have to add the windows and then start doing the furnishings and then do my trees and do the thing that I, the way I want it to look, I should say. Okay, now I'm going to continue from this point here because she's a little sparse up here towards the top, obviously. And then I'll add another one. Okay, so let me add the glue right here. She's a little sparse. So, remember, this hot glue is hot and this is metal. Just be very careful. Then, um, let's see. And I am trying to hurry up because the kids are going to have like a meltdown soon. <laughs> They're going to have a meltdown soon and I need to skedaddle. So I'm not trying to. See, I can hear them coming. They're saying I want mommy. So either going to. They're, they're about to barge in here right now. Okay. So then I'm going to make one more. I'm going to do one more thing for you guys here. And then I'll end it. So I think you got a pretty good idea of how to do this. Okay. And so far, this roll is, is working out pretty good. Hi, Noah. Hi. You watched a good movie? Awesome. 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 Okay. So again, scrunch it up. 
If you want to do the type of tree I'm doing, twist it up, make it whatever size you want. Here, like that. And there we go. Let's see. Now I think I want to start it maybe so I kind of want to start it from right here from right here so let me put some popcorn right there and again be careful with the hot glue you guys this is metal and this is hot glue it's going to get hot then just start to twist and follow the road that you want to create. Okay, and I'm almost done now. Some of these I like to twist and turn a little bit here, like this. I like I kind of like this twisty turny thing here. So I think I'm going to add the glue right here. And then I'm just going to continue to try to work on this tree whenever I get a chance. And I'll come back on here and try to do some more. And add some more of the leaves up here. Because I'm really liking the way it's coming out. As you can tell. And then I want to add some more up here all the way here on the top. So I don't have to necessarily start from the bottom. I could start closer to the top if I want, just to add what the kind of look that I want up here and just add some more of the uh, branches. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I think I'm gonna break this in half to do some more branches here. And um, go check out my crafty challenge. I hope you guys um, join in. And like I said, you know, if you have a channel, please let me know because I will um, post your channel information along with your challenge, your crafty goodness, I should say, your crafty goodness. And, um, I'm just looking forward to seeing all the cool stuff that might come in. All right. Well, I will be talking to you guys later, unless you want to hang with me for another few minutes while I try to do some little some little parts back here so i think that's what i'm i, I kind of want to start over here though i do all this i don't want to start it's like i don't want to start there i kind of want to just start here maybe back here yeah right And then you can build upon your tree if you don't like the width of it. And like I said, be careful with the glue. I can't reiterate. Please be careful with the glue because it is hot glue and it is metal. I've had a few of my, oh my God, moments already from the heat. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one right here. Okay. It's going to look really cool painted. Let me do one more branch. And this part right here, I want to add some more glue right there because I can get it around there. We don't want you moving. We don't want you moving. I want you moving. We don't want you moving, boo boo. Okay, and I'm gonna have one more. See where I want to start this one. See, maybe I want to start this one here in the middle and do like a little wrap thing here, like that. Like that. Like 
ask. Okay, I'm gonna do that one here. I'll do like a little wrap thing there. And the kids are waiting for me. So I'm gonna end this, go downstairs, spend some time with them, do another little laundry, clear off the dining room table, saw full of stuff, clear off my, try to clear off some of my, um, yeah, see they're crying for me. They want their mama. They want their mama. Now you can always have something sitting on top of this tree. You can have a ghost or something sitting on top of this tree. You can have a witch sitting on top of here. You don't have to just have a plain tree, you guys. You can even put a cat up there if you want. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So this is what I've done so far with you guys with this tree. I'm not done with her, obviously. I want to add... I was thinking about maybe adding a face or something right here just to add the little weird factor to it. That's why I kind of left it a little space right there. And um, I like the way the bottom is looking. And I like the way um, with the knots that I'm trying to create and what have you there, especially that nice knot right there. And then I want to put a face there if I can. I gotta get all this glue, the glue stuff off of here. And then add like a little bit more here on the top and over here on this end. But if it's gonna go on that side, I don't want too much there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like I can't have too much sticking out all the way around. But these are my trees that I'm working on. So I can't wait to start painting them and getting the look that I want. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna unplug myself here. Let this baby cool off so the kids don't hurt themselves. And go check out my crafty challenge video, okay? And I also did a Avon Hall and um, Swap.com. Go check it out, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.